Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Tales of Berseria. We're here in Renid and there is a new skit for us to partake in, talk to. Kind of hoping it involves Zavid and the Whitehorn Dragon. The boss has a request for you. Dope. Not a message, but a request. A Whitehorn Dragon has been showing up in the Aldina Plains. The boss wants you to kill it. Since when did the Bloodwings become agents of justice? Interested in protecting the world from dragons. Hey, we're not out to save the world. This is just to put an end to Zavid's madness. Did Zavid do something in particular? He's been harassing exorcists, trying to get more information on that dragon. I mean, that's, that's fine. That's got on alert, which makes trouble for us. Our spies need to I don't really care about you guys. Conditions. And that's where we come in. Does that mean Zavid is in the Aldina Plains too? Got it in one. Just be careful. Zavid and that dragon are even more agitated than usual. I mean, that's fair. Let's go. Are you gonna fight Zavid again? I hope not. He kicked her ass last time. Alright. Alzina Plains, you are... I think you are, like, right next to Logris. You are. We have a skit. It's just... Not skit. A quest. Alright. So it's actually where I went and looked for earlier. <laughs> Alright. That makes sense, I guess. I mean, to be fair, I... Kind of thought we were just gonna have to go there and fight it. Oh, finally, we get the pi pi ugh, pirate flag, and I think that's it in terms of. All right, off to Isles of Noctendia. Noctendia. Dia, isn't that? Are those the Tales of Summer guys? Or what? What the hell was Tale Tales of World? There was one of them where they were like. God, I forget the goddamn name. It was Summoner. One of them was. The first one was. I think. This is the one of the ones that didn't come back, come over to America. Why do I keep going to that herb thinking it's the way to the other place? Alright, so I saved. I'm hoping that I can actually do this and Zavid doesn't kick my ass along with the dragon. I hope we don't have to fight him both at the same time. He looks hurt, kind of. Look, it's a beat and the dragon. Ah! Okay, he is hurt. Oh, thank God, we only have to fight one of them. <laughs> this takes me back. I remember the first time I tried to talk to you. You smacked me pretty good then. Too. Ah, healthy relationships. <laughs> Man, that hurts. <laughs> You sure don't know how to hold back, do you? I, I mean, I'm glad we don't have to fight him. White. Just watch. But... So, you're just waiting for me to die so you can help yourself to her heart. Is that it? Yes, maybe. Sorry, but that's not happening. I'm not dying here, and I won't let you kill her. I'll decide what I do, Zavid. <laughs> Fine! Then I'm deciding to help Zavid, no matter what you tell me, Aizen. <laughs> Zavid! This dragon wouldn't hesitate to attack a child. Or the man who risks his own life to protect it. <clears throat> Tell me, Zavid, who is this white horn dragon? <clears throat> you said that your creed was to never give up on living, no matter what may happen. If you really believe that, would you say that you're living right now? I mean, he's not dead, so yeah. <sighs> because to me, you don't look like someone truly living. The hell are you saying? I understand now. Aizen really isn't the one- Yes, he is. is! By killing Theodora, he's actually saving... It's time to lift this curse. All right, Shenlong, I knew your name was a Whitehorn Dragon, so you're weak to fire. Okay, and neutral, which is good. Dragon, birdie. I'll fi fire, neutral. Uh, da -da -da -da. So we'll do a slicing foot, even though it doesn't have feet. 
Then we'll do searing edge. We have a dragon one, I think, is fire as well, too. That's fire water. But that might come into play. Do we have another dragon one? I thought we had two dragon ones. We do. It's fire earth, but should be good. To save Zavid and Theodora. It's not too too bad. You too, Aizen. All all of us. All of us watch out for the malevolence, alright? We don't don't want to get malevolenced. Damn tail whip. We are kicking this dragon's ass. You are a lot easier than Zavid. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny if she one shot at the entire party there. <laughs> oh, got it. That's scale crusher? Oh, okay. It's actually kind of surprising. I thought that was something else. Man, this is so much easier than Zavid. I'm waiting, or, waiting for the dragon to get into pissy boss mode. Oh, she did, she did stun her. Don't die, Magulu, for Christ's sakes. I was just saying how, like, easy that- Oh, you bump bumped it! Oh, it's roaring. That's not good. If I remember correctly, we actually didn't kill it. Well, obviously we didn't kill it earlier. But, like, early in the game, we didn't have that much trouble doing damage to it when we first fought it. To be fair, it was a scripted battle, so it's not like we could do too much to it. Guys, don't stand all together. That's how AoE shit happens. I do want to finish this off with a, a Mystic Art, though. Guys, stop sticking together! Oh, you paralyzed me, you dick! Soul Burst? Oh, that is a Soul Burst, you're right. Oh, it's down. Everyone beat the crap out of it. Ooh, that was... I mean, the whole backstory for this is good, because it explains a lot, but also sad, and it kind of makes Aizen seem like a dick when he first came here. Like, and I'm like and you know he's not like a true dick, but at the same time, it's like the way he's wording it, he could just explain it like he did. Instead, he's like, no, I'm going to kill her because she is, you know, important to you. It's like, dude... Like, we get why you want to, like, okay. I get why you want to kill it. Everyone else does seem to give you shit want, wanting the, well, I guess you keep saying in our curse, but getting rid of the Reaper's curse, it's in its fucking name, and you are cursed, goddammit. Like, even if you don't want to admit it. At the same time, you could just explain. I ran into that. I'll try. No. I died. Can't I hear? This was like This is an easy battle. Like straight up This is a super easy battle. And I died. I died. I'm not happy about that. I can't believe I died. I died. I'm mad about that. This straight up... It's an easy battle. This thing poses no threat. Literal no threat. We are destroying Theodora. I'm not going to be able to finish it with a Mystic. There's actually just no possible way for me to do that. I don't have any Arcane Bottles. I'm not going to stay around here getting Blast Gauge by doing the Claw. 
All right, eat the heart. Stay back. Obtain its power. Get away from her. If you kill her, if you kill Theodora, I'll never forgive you, Aizen. I know. <laughs> I don't think that's where the heart is. Aizen, how could you? What? Malevolence. Aizen! Stay back! The leaking out of the dragon? This is... Yeah. Okay, that's what's going on. I mean, the wings did look like it was Aizen! made of dark energy, so that makes sense. No, it'll get you too! But Velvet, just look at them! It's that fire again. Amazing Good timing. Extinguish that much malevolence. But the dragon. <sighs> Please turn back to normal. <gasps> I can do it with this flame. David. It's Can't cure a dragon, kid. Thank you. Oh, please get to keep that. Did you eat the heart? Why didn't you break your reaper's curse? Yeah! What? Did you want me to eat it, sir? Yes! Don't answer a question with another question. The reaper's curse is mine to bear alone. And everyone around you, because you affect everyone around you with it. Is a curse upon all Malakim. All that malevolence. It's going to take its toll on you, too. Yeah, I can already feel it starting. It won't be long before I wind up like her. You'll have to leave your pirate base Eyes and spoilers, before buddy. things turn ugly. I'm the first mate on Eifried's ship. So, to be honest, it's probably just as well. I'd rather end up a dragon than have this curse hijack my ship and my life anymore. <sighs> But I do fear one thing. I'm afraid that when I turn into a dragon, I could end up hurting the very people I want to protect. Theodora couldn't even recognize anyone she loved anymore. You saved her, Aizen. By killing her. <clears throat> Before all this, Theodora was a kind woman. She never wanted to hurt people. And she loved more deeply than anyone I've ever known. Yeah. Sometimes to kill someone is to save them. <clears throat> you have someone you're trying to protect too, don't you? My little sister. What's she like? She's like an early blooming flower. Wise for her age. She's got it all together. <laughs> Sometimes has to treat me like I'm the kid. I'm pretty sure she treats everyone she like cries a kid. too easily. But deep down, she's so strong. Sounds like someone I'd like to get to know better. Who knows? Maybe I'll even marry her. Zavi. Don't be creepy. Don't you worry. I won't make a move until I've killed you. Zavid, what are you saying? Consider it revenge for Theodora. I'll be the one who finally puts you out of your misery. But I'll only kill you once you've stopped being yourself. Only then. You sure? Yeah. I swear by my true name, Filk Zadea, Zavid the Oath Keeper. Keep the gun, Nothing we can use that. Him. That's my true name. 
I'll remember it. C keep the gun? Is there really no other way? There must be something besides turning into a dragon or getting yourself killed, Well, you right? can live. In the end, what matters isn't whether we get killed or not. It's whether we can take control over the direction of our own lives. That's what it means to really be alive. That sounds sad. And hard. I mean, yeah. But I understand. And I'm going to live life in my own way, too. <laughs> well then, I hope we'll see each other again. Where are you going? Wherever the wind takes I mean, you could join my party. I could really use the help. And, you know, the ability to power myself up with shooting myself in the head. A promise made. Achievement unlocked. 40,000. Weakness hunter. And elite ignatus. Unlocks level 4. Random skills on harder mode or above. Dope. I guess I could spend some time, go to town, and see if there's any more skits. Check up. Okay. I guess there's one thing we can do before I actually do that. Uh, check up on Zavid's family. Seems decent enough, right? I mean, we just killed their stepmother, caretaker, guardian, whatever she was. I mean, I guess the cooks are now their guardian, but they, you know, obviously there's connection to Theodora as well. Oh, it's you! Thank you for everything you've done. What by killing Has by killing Theodore? Been by since last time? Yeah. Actually, he finally dropped by here the other day. Ah, oh, it was great. We were all really happy to see him again. What about Theodora? The life said, you know what happened though, to her. But he made it sound like her problems were finally all resolved. He said they were going to travel together. But we don't feel lonely. Yeah, he said no matter how far apart we are, we'll always be together in our hearts, and they'll never forget us. He told us that we all share a strong bond, and it's all because... Because that's Zavid's way, right? Nuh-uh. It's because that's our family's way. All of us. <laughs> and it's a wonderful way to be. Yeah, that's what I think, too. Zavid told us that because he has family here... Because he has somewhere to come home to. He'll be able to travel with an easy heart. Aww. And he left us with a huge pile of money. Oh, that's even more better. We told him we didn't know what to do with it all. You can give it to me. I will laughed. take the money. He said we could use the money to grow our family even more. Now, give me the money. If you ever see Zavid on your travels, please give him a message. Tell him you'll always have a home here. Yeah, but seriously, give me the money. Of course. We'll make sure to pass it on to him. See ya! Velvet, eat them. We need the money. We're not going to take the money. God damn it. We got orders from headquarters. They want us to boost security for the transport unit. But the transport's got more than enough as it is. A few days back, a gold convoy got raided. They lost everything <laughs> down to the last coin. Thankfully, uh. no one was killed, but the raid was such a clean job. HQ thinks it must have been the work of a pro. Nah, it was just the, the wind. already have a stretch thin enough. And now we have to deal with bandits on top of that? Uh. Are you just getting that, Lofty Set? <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and... Teleport around and see if there's any more skits. If not, then I will meet you guys close to the Imperian's throne. Alrighty, we're once again in Yasult, and there is a new skit here. Looks like it's behind here. Yeah, hello. I take it you're a bloodwing. Do you have something for me? Yeah. I've got something I think you'll like. Is it a new weapon? I heard a treasure chest <gasps> washed up on the rocks of Manan. And get this, nobody can open it. A treasure chest that won't open. I can open it. If it won't I open, the why does anyone just smash it apart? The Abbey's throne. Who knows how many praetors had it? And not only can they not open it, they can't even budge it. Ooh, now you're talking my language. Mm. It might be treasure from the far continent. Hmm. 
Do you know something about it, Aizen? Hush. Uh, I don't see why what? I should care about <laughs> it. Thanks anyway. It's treasure velvet. You have what to was care. What about, Aizen? You know something about that treasure chest, don't you? I think it probably drifted here from the far continent. Wow. Really? What makes you say that? It sounds just like something I saw when I was there. Oh, do go on. I'm all ears. Oh, literally, look how big look. her ears are. If we really can't get it to open, I'll cut right through it. That won't be necessary. I know how to open it. In fact, Eifried was the one who figured it out. Uh, now I get it. Is that where he found... Yeah. That's where he found Siegfried. We should have kept that. If that's that. true, I'd hate to let the Abbey or the Bloodwings get their hands on whatever's inside. Off to Manon we go. I mean, yeah? Where the hell is that? I mean, I guess I could just... Do that. Oh! Oh, that's right next to Haria. Alright. Manon Reef. Where here is it, though? It's there... I guess we could go to the teleporter. Do I not have the mana thing? I didn't get the ma mana thing one. Oh my god. Kronos, you are a silly man. Why didn't you get the mana thing last time we were here? This is like the third time we were here. Alright, I teleported all the way over here with the teleport thing. Can't believe I didn't get the mana thing last time we were here. I think I ran past it. Like, I saw it on the map. How did I not... Get it. I think I saw it on the map. I might have not seen it on the map. And it could just be hallucinating in my own uh, memory right now. I mean, it's not like the enemies here are hard or anything like that. They're really easy. They actually die, like, in two hits. Which is dope. I'm a big fan of that. I love that in video games when you become so powerful, you go back to the old areas and you just tear through things. That's actually how I completed a lot of the dungeons in WoW. Like, I would just out-level them and then go back and just tear through them solo. Excuse me? Excuse me? Is that the... the chest? Okay. That was weird. Is that the treasure chest from the far continent? Probably put a, should have put a trigger on the other side too, but... Right then. Aizen, how do we go about opening it? Hmm. Well, I'd still be happy to cut it open, you know. What Don't. a dull blade. You probably end up cutting what's inside. There's a password. It means wealth in the language of the far continent. Von Eltia. Oh, that's clever. It I opened. like it. What? That's all it took? Talk about anticlimactic. I kind I didn't of. I know the ship's name came from the far continent. Yeah. An engineer who helped design the ship was familiar with technology from there. He probably supplied the name. And by that bizarre twist of fate, Siegfried came into Eifried's hands. So what's inside? Anything interesting? I would I would have called book. out the difference between oh, voice and text so back there a little bit, but me here. I've done that it's a lot really recently. Old, but it's written in a language I can read. It's titled Research Notes on Siegfried and its Special Abilities. Oh, good thing Wait, we got this before the Abbey. So it's like a manual for using Siegfried? Yeah. Some of it's missing, but I'm pretty sure. Another twist Told you we should have kept it. Fee, keep going. Let's hear more. Believed to be a relic from the Avarost period, Siegfried utilizes an embedded formula to enable its wielder to manipulate mana. The commonly held belief is that Siegfried can alter, and thereby amplify, the mana of its host. But this is only its most basic capability, which is utilized to initiate and control its true functions. Its true functions? Does that mean it can do more? It looks that way. Our analysis suggests that Siegfried was originally created as a specialized anti-dragon weapon. Hmm. <sighs> oh my, the plot thickens. To that end, Siegfried can fire volitional bullets that bestow certain special effects upon its targets. These bullets, made from crystallized mana, can cause disabilities depending on the intent with which they have been imbued. This is no really good information. include one that can sever power links, 
and one capable of temporarily blocking out the influence of malevolence. Bullets that block malevolence, huh? Does it say where these bullets are? Um, no. Sorry, the rest is too worn to read. That's all right. Hmm, we can't be sure if it's true or not, but it sounds plausible at least. Aizen, how about we go looking for those bullets? No. I have no need for them. I mean, yeah, you but gave the you gun back. Them, you could... I have other things I need to worry about. And anyway, Siegfried belongs to Zavid now. Lafayette, next time you see him, I want you to tell him what you read. Are you sure? Please. I have a feeling he'll track those bullets down. Even if he has to cross the whole world looking for them. All right. I'll tell him. I promise. Lo, is this another twist of fate in the making? But how? Oh, Am I gonna have to go searching for more skits? Well, to be fair, I never stopped searching for the skits, so I guess I gotta go back and do it. I think she's just saying Aizen's doing the right thing, in her own weird way. And it's true that nobody knows what the future holds. That's for sure. And I, I do. Like it that way. Well, I do know. You really mean that? Not the I immediate do. future, but it like a thousand years from now. I know everything that's coming. Don't you think? <laughs> that's fair. Uh, Siegfried Manual, Expedition Returned. This is a new one, right? Ah, oh, Balsamic Vinegar. A new Good luck. Uh, yeah, okay, so is there another quest? No? Okay. Uh, yeah, so in between episodes, I'm going to go look for more skits. And if not, we're going to finally go to the Imperian's Throne. And yeah, so that's what we, that'll be next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, want to head on my video section, check out some other content, and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.